Welcome to Feisty Chess. I've got white this time. I'm going to play e4 here against Arrivadal. And we're going to Cecilia and Smith Mora Gambit. We're going to give up these two pawns for black's one pawn. And we've got the center. We've got a development advantage. We'll have a safer king. Our bishops flow out freely. We'll just get castled. Okay. This is what they call the Taylor defense. So I got to go bishop f4. I just remember this stuff. The idea is the knight wants to come here for a fork at the end of things. All right, now it's, it, yeah, it's h3. And now the knight fork here won't land as well because I can just take it with the bishop. He's going for that move. Queen d3, I guess. I don't have some tactic or other, do I? I guess not. So queen d3 looks looks good. Let's uh, hit that knight again. Keep our bishop pair. Hmm. Ouch. What about F4 here? Yeah, F4 looks good. Just try to blast things open before black can do much about it. We'll give up the bishop for the knight because this unleashes this attack on F7 if he takes. He's got this check here. Hmm. There's got to be something fast. Bishop takes f7. What's that look like? Queen c4 check. Hmm. Bishop check. Uh, none of these things look all that great. We can put a rook d1, knight d5. I'm looking at e5, but it just doesn't work. Rook takes here. I'm going to play rook d1. Just get the rook on the opposite of the queen. He can grab this b2 pawn whenever he wants. He's just going to castle. All right, he doesn't have any defense on the white squares. I got this light square bishop. Yeah, just knight d5. This maybe simplifies a little bit. He takes, I'll take with the queen. And then that's a lot of... That's two pawns threatened. 
So I'll get the pawn back, it seems. He can do that. I could drop back with my queen, but what kind of gambit would that be? He can't afford to take on b2. Oh, he's got that, does he? If I go rook f1, he can go queen back to d8. But then I just grab here. Uh, that's no good. There's g4. He's desperately trying to defend those light squares. Second exchange looks awfully thematic here. Hmm. I'm going to play this. See if I can get him to play a rook to d8. I'm threatening to win this pawn. But if he plays his rook to d8, then rook f1 looks pretty great because he doesn't have a way to bring the queen back to d8. If he tries bishop here, I've just got this capture. Okay, it worked. It worked. Now we go rook f1. And we're so piled up on f7, but he's got no way to avoid this exchange sack. We don't have to trade. You can stay piled up on f7. Just dominate the light squares here. Got our pawn back. He should have played the other rook to d8 if he was going to. And then he'd be able to well, not, well, yeah, I'll probably pick this up with the queen. Okay, I think it's exchange that time. He can't defend. F7 just has too much pressure on it. There's no way for him to defend it. Ah, there is. There is a way for him to defend it. But at what cost? He has a check on D1. It doesn't lead anywhere. Mm. 
this looks good to me. I got ideas like Rook here. Maybe this rook here. But then I think I can just take with this bishop. A winning exchange back. Let's look at that. This is a line I'm interested in. Rook d8. Duke d to e8. Bishop check. Uh, if he takes with the rook, I take this rook with check. So that's no good. He has to take with the queen. Too many arrows. Rook here. Bishop takes. Take with the queen. I take with the rook. He needs to take my queen. I take his. And I'm up uh, a couple of pawns in a rook ending. Or maybe just a pawn. I thought I got... Right, right. I was confused by the plus one. I'm down the exchange. That's all. But I'm up a pawn. And I'm up an attack. Hmm. That's a good defensive move. Ah. What can I do about that? I can do this. Yes, bishop f7 check works. I'm going to check it. King h8 is... Okay, well, we'll have an interesting... Yeah, if king h8, I've still got bishop e6. So if if takes, I take with check. And he can't block with the rook. He can come up here. In which case, I can just take... It's got to be good for me. I'm going for it. No, this is no good. That's no good because of queen takes f6. If I go here, he has, he has a check on a1, but no more. So let's do that. This is looking tasty. I've got ideas of e5 and then queen f6, which will mate. Queen a1 is the most likely chance, most likely try here. Wow, I thought I was getting in trouble here. Now e5 is the plan, it's kind of like the Immortal Games idea of uh, cutting the queen off from the defense. He can go queen g7. Then I think I just back up the bishop and call it good. Take my extra two pawns. I at least have that. I might have something better. Like rook, rook f6. If he doesn't bring the queen back to g7, I'm playing e5. So queen g7 is a critical line. Um, I don't think this cuts the mustard. I think e5 is going to work. e5, threatening queen f6 mate, right out of the gate. Uh, he can 
take, but then I get, I get the exchange back and things just look great. So here we go. Yeah, reminds me of the uh, Immortal game with Adolf Anderson where he plays e5 at a mysterious moment and the whole point of it is to cut this queen off from defending uh, f6 and g7. Very similar to this. I think he needs to take the bishop now. Take, take, okay. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Oh, this, this just mates. Okay, I, I took too quickly here. I wonder if this is better. Let's have a look. All right, this makes me feel better after losing one. It took me a game to warm up today. But now I have some time to play more than one game a day. Let's, let's look ourselves. Queen here. Yeah, his king sneaks out there. I don't think this mates quite as quickly. Maybe it does. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really sneak out, does it? Mating three. Yeah, it's only move. Aha. Okay. And if king comes over here, the rook mates. This, yeah, I definitely missed missed the more strong continuation, but he has to give this up. Oh no, this this is good. I mean, he has to give up. Are we just repeating here. He has to give up the queen trade. The queen for the rook at some point. So I jumped the gun a little bit. I missed a pretty mate, but still. Uh, nice nice Mora game. Let's go through. So the Mora gambit, my favorite gambit. And the gambit I know the best. Probably the opening I know the best. Uh, knight c6 is the main move here. And we just get our knights to their natural squares. Uh, computer wants bishop b5. Uh, that is not the move. No one has played bishop b5 here. Bishop c4. And uh, black, is play black is playing a system called the Taylor defense. And um, the idea is he wants to, as he did in the game, he wants to pin my knight. And when I play h3, trade it off. And if I didn't have the bishop here, he would have this fork. And then win the bishop pair back, and he's just simplified... Taking off two sets of minor pieces, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, so if the bishop weren't there, I would have to come back here, and then he just takes. And he can get his rook in the game with the tempo. And black is doing great here. I mean, that he's just a, a pawn up. So I don't have my compensation anymore. But with my bishop here, if he were to play this, knight e5, I can just take. And now his pawns are all kind of doubled up. I I would probably play the other rook to d1, honestly. Uh, and look, white has a white has a big advantage despite being down a pawn. Even the computer thinks so. Um, yeah. So he went here. Now it likes queen d1. I want queen d3. Okay, queen d1 is the way to go. Why is that? Queen doesn't want to be... I wanted to get her developed somehow, and she didn't want to go back to d1, but... e5, knight here. And the, the best idea is just give the pawn back with bishop to e7. That's a sad position. Sad position for black. He's got this bishop that's just stunted by this pawn, and this pawn is a huge weakness. Um, I have the better structure, I have the better development. I'm a little bit better on everything. So that adds up to a pawn and a half, according to the computer. Okay. 
But the best line for him was just to go knight c6. Oh, and he's going to come here. And this slows down my speed a little bit. Well, heck, I don't know. I can't understand why this is so much worse than queen back to d1. Anyway, I played it. Here's how the game went. I wonder in the database, there's no game found here. Nobody played knight d4 because it's just a bad move. Okay, but queen d1 is the way to meet it. Yeah, knight d5. Knight d5 makes sense. f4. The computer doesn't like it. But I had a concrete plan of attack on f7, and it really ended up panning out for me. Maybe I should have brought the rook to f1 here. Yeah, the computer likes that too. Or just play king h1 at some point. But I kind of wanted to tempt his queen to come out. And here I tempted the uh, rook, rook to d8, and I bet this hurts black a lot. Oh no, it's not, it's not a terrible move. Computer does like black's extra pawn at this point. Yeah, queen takes b7, and now there's no extra pawn. Rook f5. That makes sense. Why not rook f5 here? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Hmm. I'd maybe go queen here just to keep pressure on f7. King moves. Huh, dead draw. Even though I'll be, well, two pawns for an exchange, but there's there's completely drawn lines. Okay, rook takes f7. Well, that's, that's one way to do it, but that just lets black trade the exchange. The trade queens, I mean. Check. King has to come here. And the bishop just sits here and laughs. There's no weaknesses in black's camp. I can play here. But this isn't, this doesn't look like a way to try to win, does it? Yeah, rook e6. All right, queen g3. Allows the queen to come back here. Hmm. Oh, I'd love to play bishop f7. That would be a neat move, but then he's got a mate. What about rook f7? It just takes... And there's not really any threat now. Queen covers everything on the g file. Okay. Yeah, he has to come to g7. And... At that point, I have to just clear out with the bishop, let the queen trade happen, and you got a drawish type position. Although white seems to have the chances with his extra pawns, and everything's working well. I mean, the bishop is kind of clunky on the white pawns, but he can defend all of them. That's key. But yeah, this, this was the key move. That obstruction tactic. And now it says, <sighs> excuse me, now it says uh, queen g3. <laughs> it's the quickest way to not get mated. What about this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because the queen's still on that. So that's going to be mate. Okay. Well, that's the game. Let's watch the finish again. Here I missed the mate with queen takes d8 check. And I went queen takes here really quickly. 
but yeah, this this was uh, he was trying to create counterplay, maybe threaten queen here. This would be a maiden too, right? Queen and then boom, but uh, that check ends things. And this would have been the final mate. Okay, thanks for watching, folks. Stay feisty.